First, the area of a rectangle. Now, the area of a rectangle is the product of the base and the height. The area is the base times the height. And I know that you've probably heard that in a previous math class, but I want to talk briefly about why that is. If I said that this, the height of this rectangle was 4, let's just say centimeters, and the base was 8 centimeters, I know you can probably just multiply those together and say, hey, it's 32 centimeters squared, um, but I want to talk about why that is. If you line up squares along the sides, so if I line up four squares along the side, because it's, you know, four centimeters, and line up eight centimeters, eight squares down here, and I, there happens to be four groups of eight centimeters, or eight groups of four centimeter squares. So if I count how many squares fill up this rectangle, I have four centimeters times 8 centimeters, which gives me 32 square centimeters, okay? Never forget that when you're finding an area, you're counting how many square units fill up that space, okay? The area of a parallelogram is very related to the area of a rectangle. It's just like leaning to one side, or you can think of it as cutting off this um, triangle and moving it over to this side and it fitting here and making a rectangle. Okay, however you think of it, the area of a, of a parallelogram is still the base times the height. Okay, now an important thing is that the base of a parallelogram can be any one of its sides. It doesn't have to be just the bottom one. Okay, the important thing is that the altitude, the segment that we get the height from, the altitude must be perpendicular to the base. Okay. The altitude must be perpendicular to the base, okay? So in this first one, if we look at it, the altitude is the red line that I've drawn in here. And so the base can be either this one or this one. It's perpendicular to the altitude, okay? In the second one, um, the 90 degree we have is, is this one. And so perpendicular to that will be the top and the bottom are the bases. Okay, if on the third one I asked you which are the base, which sides are the bases, you wouldn't know until I tell you where the altitude is. Okay, if I do that in to be right here, you would then look perpendicular to the altitude and find out that these two sides are the base. Okay, so the base isn't always at the bottom, although it can be. The important thing is that the base and the altitude are perpendicular. Okay, so to find the area of some parallelograms, um, for example, in A, the base is 5, and the height is perpendicular to the base, so it's going to be the 4. Okay, so the area of this is the base times the height, or 5 inches times 4 inches, and we get 20 inches squared, or 20 square inches. Again, we first find the area of the parallelogram, using the, the base and height combination that we know. And then we use um, the combination where we don't know one of them to find the other one. Okay, the combination that I know is 13 inches as my base, and the corresponding height is 9, in, nine inches. So the area is equal to the base times the height. So it's 13 inches times 9 inches, and 13 times 9 is 117, so the area is 117 inches squared. Now, that's true if I use a different height and, and base combination. So I'll use um, 9.4 inches with the height of what I want to find. I'll call it H. So the area is 117 um, inches squared, which is equal to the base of 9.4 inches times the height of h. Okay, to solve this, I will divide both sides by 9.4, and the height is equal to 12.44, okay, inches. Now, notice this is inches and not inches squared. It's because my answer is a length, not an area. 
Okay, now the area of a triangle is half of the area of a parallelogram. So, um, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Okay, I know a lot of you have heard this and know this from before. Um, keep in mind, just like parallelograms, the base of a triangle can be any one of its sides. The important thing is that the corresponding height or um, altitude must be perpendicular to the base. So the, the base can be any side as long as the altitude is perpendicular to that base. Okay, so here's a couple of sample examples. Um, part A, it's one half the base times the height. Now, the base is 16 and the height is 12. So one half times 16 centimeters times 12 centimeters is, I will do 16 times 12 divided by 2, and I get 96 square centimeters. Okay, not too bad. I will skip B, um, but look at C. Now C, I, I might be looking for this height right here, but I'm not given that height. So I'll need to find the height somewhere else. And I notice that these two sides are perpendicular. Okay, 90 degrees. Okay, so one of them um, can be my base and one can be my height. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. So the area is equal to one half. The base, I'll just pick it to be 4.5 yards times the height of 6 yards. And that'll give, give me my area. So 4.5 times 6 divided by 2 is 13.5 square yards. 